concept of oxidation number and formal charge are very related. We have only one difference. For oxidation number calculation, bond pair electrons are unequally divided. So if I want to calculate oxidation number, bond pair electrons are unequally divided. But for calculation of formal charge, bond pair electrons are equally divided. And this is the only difference we have for formal charge and oxidation number. So let us try if I say HCl molecule calculate the oxidation number of chlorine and hydrogen. These bonds of electrons will be given to more electronegative atom. So bond pair electrons. So we are calculating oxidation number. bond pair electron is given to more electronegative atom. So now you see this molecule chlorine will have 8 electron so formal charge over this chlorine is minus 1 because it has 1 extra electron. Neutral chlorine should have 7 electron. Right now chlorine has 8 electron. That is we have 1 extra electron. So it will have minus 1 formal charge. And hydrogen has 1 loss of electron. So it will have plus one formal charge. So oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one and oxidation number of chlorine is minus one. Now if I want to calculate formal charge for the same molecule, bond pair electrons is equally divided that is we have two electron in this bond one electron will be given to hydrogen and one electron will be given to chlorine that is bond pair electron is equally divided between atoms And then we can calculate formal charge. So hydrogen has one electron and this chlorine will have seven electron. So one electron is coming from bond and this electron is also coming from bond. So hydrogen has one electron and neutral atom should have one electron. So this means hydrogen has zero formal charge. Chlorine also will have zero formal charge. So hydrogen has a formal charge of zero formal charge 0. Chlorine also has formal charge 0. Let us take another example. I have this Lewis dot structure. This molecule is CO3 2 minus. So Lewis dot structure is given. You have to calculate formal charge and oxidation number of oxygen and carbon. 
So let us first calculate oxidation number. We said for calculation of oxidation number, electrons that is in the bond pair will be given to more electronegative atom. So these two electrons will be given to oxygen. This will be given to oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. And these two bond pair electron will be given to oxygen. So now we will have, so we have carbon, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. This oxygen will have 8 electron because initially we have 4 electron. And 4 electron is coming from this bond pair. This oxygen will also have 8 electron. And this oxygen will also have 8 electron. Now calculate the formal charge. This oxygen has 2 extra electron that is minus 2. This also has 2 extra electron minus 2. This also has 2 extra electron that is minus 2. And carbon should have 4 electron but carbon has no electron because neutral carbon has 4 electron. So for carbon we have 4 loss of electron. This means carbon will have minus a uh, loss of electron. This means plus. So this will have plus 4 formal charge. And oxidation number is equals to formal charge when bond pairs are unequally divided. So what is oxidation number? It is same as formal charge. But only thing is we have to divide electrons unequally. Bond pair electrons are unequally divided. So formal charge in oxygen is minus 2. So each oxygen has oxidation number of minus 2. And carbon has a oxidation number of plus 4. You can check that is sum of all the oxidation numbers would be equal to charge over the molecule. So this oxygen has minus 2, this oxygen has minus 2, this oxygen also has minus 2 and carbon has plus 4. That is equal to sum of the charges over the molecule. So molecule has a charge of minus 2. So sum of the oxidation number, so we can say sum of oxidation numbers is equal to charge over the molecule. Now let us calculate formal charge for CO3 2 minus. So for formal charge we have to divide bond pair equally. So in this case bond pair electron is equally divided. So we have CO3 2 minus. This is the Lewis daughter structure. Now these bonds are equally divided. So we have carbon oxygen. This oxygen will have 7 electron because 1 electron is coming from this bond. This will also have 7 electron. Carbon will have 1 electron from this side and 1 electron from this side. And we will have 2 electron here. And this oxygen will have 6 electron. Now let us calculate formal charge. This oxygen has 7 electron that is 1 extra electron. Because neutral oxygen atom has 6 electron. So formal charge over this oxygen is minus 1. Over this oxygen is minus 1. This oxygen has 6 electron. Formal charge is 0. Carbon has 4 electron. And neutral carbon should also has 4 electron. So formal charge is 0. 
So you see there are two oxygen having formal charge of minus 1 and one oxygen having formal charge of 0 and carbon has 0 formal charge. So we can show the same this oxygen has minus 1 formal charge this oxygen has minus 1 formal charge and this oxygen has 0 formal charge. So whatever we said this is formal charge formal charge over carbon is 0. Now we also calculated oxidation number. Oxidation number for this oxygen is minus 2. This is also minus 2. This is minus 2 and carbon is plus 4. So this is oxidation number. So you see formal charge over this oxygen is minus 1 but the oxidation number is minus 2. Formal charge over this oxygen is 0 but oxidation number is minus 2. So this means formal charge is not equal to the oxidation number. We have two different concepts. One important point you have to remember for calculation of formal charge you have to divide bond pair electrons equally but for calculation of oxidation number bond pair electrons should be unequally divided and it should be given to the more electronegative atom that is bond pair electron will go to the more electronegative atom and this is the important point you have to remember whenever you want to calculate oxidation number or formal charge using the Levi-Stata structure.